again for some more barbecue. But it's not the same food. We're gonna get some different dishes this time. I'm gonna review it and let you guys know if those are worth getting too. We're gonna try some turkey, see if they dry out their turkey like the Sahara Desert or if it's moist and juicy. So let's head out. Texas have a hunting in the bank. Not a superhero, I don't say. Look at my face, look at my grace. Don't match up, no love, we can take. I just fade. When I hit the jack, you can get the pie. Every night I get my life stop. Yeah, when I check the cost, I was like, I roll flex in my ear. You a fucking hot, you weird. Which way I'ma steer? Know the bags of money be near, but you don't really see it till it's here. That's all I do since I was 17. Cutting up tough. Why you lame, soft, don't speak? Fuck I don't know you. Yeah, get run through by my team. Dropping them hits like Blitz. I bought my cheese like Ritz. Fuck a vacay, don't trip. Y'all don't know people like this. First thing on the menu is some pulled pork. Mm. It rips apart so easily and has a really crazy smoky flavor to it. And you see the huge smoke rings on the on the outer edge of it. And it's actually still very moist. It seasons very, very well. Next something I'm always weary about is turkey. I usually don't order this anywhere because I'm always scared that it's gonna be really dry. But it's killing it. It's probably gonna be good. He was pretty he was pretty good before. It's actually really, really good. Yeah. You see it on the outside with a lot of like black pepper, a mixture of different types of herb. The actual meat itself is really, really moist. I have no idea how they kept all the juices in this meat, but it's absolutely crazy how good it tastes. It's like falling apart just picking at it, picking it up. Never had turkey do that before. Yo, I've never had turkey this good before in my entire life. This is probably the best turkey I've ever had. It's pretty crazy how good it is. For our size, we got this humongous onion ring. Just look how big that is. The batter is so nice and light. What do you actually might do it? Real legitimate onion is under there. I think it's actually not that, that salty. There's not a whole lot of seasoning on it. So I think if you eat this with like ketchup with a barbecue sauce, it would taste really good. And I, I like that it's more neutral and not like you know some onion rings are just all batter, super oily, and that's not a good time. These these are really nice, but I think they could use a little bit more seasoning, a little bit more salt maybe. The next side we got was the fried mac and cheese. Let's crack it open and see what's see how it looks inside. Oh. Super cheesy, very light, crispy edge on the outside. But the same super cheesy mac and cheese from yesterday or from the other day, but just fried up in this nice batter. I love how crispy and light and like thin the crust is. So it doesn't overpower the actual mac and cheese inside. It's super delicious. So we re upped on the brisket again, but this time this brisket is a lot fattier, which adds even more juice and makes it even more tender than the last one that we had. Unreal how soft it is. Kind of just melts melt in your mouth. The fat adds so much flavor to the meat. We finished off another delicious meal at Killin's. I think everything, I think it's safe to say that everything there is very good, very delicious. You guys should try it. And now we're off to their famous space museum. Let's go. Ooh, I'm gonna pull up study to the side. She keep coming at me every day. We're here. We've landed at the Houston Space Center. Even on the way in, there's so many cool things to look at. But let's go check out the space station. Learn a little bit of science, maybe. Probably not. But it's a cool site, so let's head on in. Um, actually, never mind. The place closes at 5 because the summer hours are now over. And I think summer hours, they open until like much later, like 7 or 8. So this would have worked out but they're actually closed at five, so we're gonna come back tomorrow. Now we're going to like a boardwalk, very similar to Santa Monica Pier in LA. We're gonna go check that out, and then we're gonna head downtown to have our dinner. But right now, we, we gotta go to this place and see what's up. Ooh, I'm gonna put a study to the side. She keep coming at me every day and night. When I arrived at Kima Boardwalk, this place pretty much reminds me of Santa Monica Pier. Has like the Ferris wheel, some rides here and there, and a lot of different shops, like different food places, drinks. So we're just gonna take 
a walk around. I don't know if we're actually gonna buy anything or do anything here. It seems like a nice place to just take a stroll. So this is Kima Boardwalk, pretty much a bunch of different rides so I think you pay like 25 bucks for a wristband and you can ride any of them I think as many times as you want. I, I think that's the concept here. But if you're like us and you just want to walk around you can do that too so they have this pier you can walk on right beside the water here. It's a pretty nice area and I think if you wanted to take somebody out on a date this would be a very nice spot. Before I wanna buy myself, I don't wanna hang around y'all. Pray for good health. One day I'm really gonna ball. Fuck around and buy the home ball. Breaking that cake. Texas have a hundred in the bank. Not a superhero, I don't say. Look at my face, look at my grace. Don't match up, no love. Fuck a date. I just fade. When I hit the jack, you can get the pie. Every night I got my life stop. Yeah, when I check the cost, I was like, oh, that's just fancy. I goalie flex in my ear. You a fucking odd, you weird. Which way I'ma steer? Know the banks of money be near. Alright, we finished at Caracal. Everything I think was really great. The hotel lot is really good. The octopus was the most bomb and all of our favorites. They have really nice drinks too, so make sure you get some of those margaritas or a mojito. Those are fantastic. We're kind of in a rush, so we're already late for our top golf reservation. We're off there now. Hopefully we get there and we get a spot so we can play some golf. So we've arrived at Top Golf, and we're gonna see if we can get a bay. Hopefully, hit some balls around, um, drink a couple of beers, have some fun. So this place is like a gigantic playground for golf. Being the absolute golf nuts, that we've got our golf clubs with us. Brought the full bag so we can just, you know, play some games, have some fun, but with the proper golf equipment. They give you all the clubs you'll need right here. But if you buy your own, they have spots for you to put your bags. Look at how many bays across the place. They even have a three, what? They have three levels. Just make sure when you're hitting, be a little careful. Don't fall into this pit right here. But aside from that, this looks like it's gonna be a hell of a time. First game we're gonna play is fan favorite, top ball. So all you're doing for this game is you hit the ball to whatever target you want. And I think the further the target and closer to the middle you are, the more points you got. The best thing is you can watch it right here on the TV. So whatever your friend is doing, you'll see what the outcome is. Oh, oh, a nice shank, but it's still rolled into the green. How many points is that? Yo, straight zero. That's a straight zero. That's a straight zero. <laughs> now it's Mike's turn. Oh, oh, you see that in the night sky? Where did I end up? Oh, just missed it, just missed it. One of the greatest things, you have this entire lounge area to yourselves and you can get a bunch of beers, some drinks, and they also serve a lot of different types of food like wings, burgers, whatever you want. You can really chill here for a long time. All right, this is what I'm gonna call the no stop home. Let's fucking go, dude. That's fucking it. <laughs> Let's fucking go! 10 fucking points! Let's go! Easy game! Easy game! <laughs> Alright, uh, stinger time. Snap hook! <laughs> Shit! Oh no! Oh, 15? We're done here at Top Golf. It's been so much fun. Just like you smack balls, balls around. There's all these different targets for you to hit. And there's all these different games you can choose from. You can play Angry Birds, try to hit targets and get points from that. But this place is a lot of fun to come with you and your friends. You can go drinking, play a bit of golf. You're not that even serious at golf. Just come here for the vibes. It's a very cool time. It's a lot of fun here. Check them out. And I think that's it for tonight. So I'll see you all next time. Peace.